Hello there. In this episode, we are going to talk about how to use slicers to filter data in Excel. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to download a copy of this workbook. There are three sheets on this workbook. The first one is see it. This is where I will demonstrate. Second one is do it sheet. This is where you can practice. And the final sheet is what we are trying to achieve. The data I have in the CE sheet is the exact replica of this one. So what exactly are we trying to achieve here? We are trying to use slicers to filter data dynamically. What exactly is slicer? Slicer provides you buttons to filter your tables or your pivot table at a click of a button. As you can see from my screen, on the right hand side, I have these three slicers. These slicers are based on the data points that is the columns here on the left side. The first one is region. The region slicer is based on this column F of my table. And the second slicer, which is employment type, is based on the column D of my table on the left. Similarly, the department on the right hand side, the department slicer, is based on the column C in this table. Now, when I make a choice inside these slicers, based on the choices I make, my data on the left will be filtered. Let me show you exactly how it works. If I want to see people who are HR, I can just click on the HR button in my department slicer. And the entire data on the left will be filtered accordingly. Now, if I want to see who from HR is on full-time role in my company, I'll just click on full time while I have the HR selected. It will filter all the people who are from HR and are on employment type full time. Now, if I want to see who in HR is full time and are from, say, Northwest. See, I have this team of five people who are from Northwest and are full time and belong to the HR department. So we are going to try this kind of setup, try build this kind of setup using slicers. So let's get started. Let me clear this filter by clicking on this clear filter button on the top right, which is a funnel with the cross on it. Now let's go into the seed sheet. Here, what I will do is I'll first format this data as table because that is a required step in order to use slicers. To format my data as table, I can do it from the home tab using the format as table option here, or I can click on insert tab and select table. Both are going to do the same thing. So I'll go ahead and click on the format as table inside the home tab. And let me select one of the styles here. Green seems good, so let me go with that. Here we go. So now I have my data formatted as table. With the table format, I will have a dynamic menu on the top. You can see I have this new tab that is table tab. It appears only when I am inside this table. If my selection is inside this table, if I click outside that table, the table tab will go away. So I can go ahead and click inside this table and my table tab will appear. Inside table tab, I have insert slicer. I'll click on that control to start inserting the slicers. So I have my insert slicer control here. The first slicer that I would like to insert is say department. And I'll just click OK. We are going to go one by one. So I'll just click on OK. So now I have my department slicer. So if I just expand it a bit, I can read them pretty well. So I have these departments. So I still have one department which is not appearing in full. So I'll zoom out a bit and expand this a little more. So now I have all the names readable. So if I just click admin, you can see all the people from the admin department are filtered. If I select HR, people from HR are filtered. If I click this funnel icon, it will clear my filters. Now imagine if I want to select more than one department from this list, how do I go about it? At the moment, I'm just able to select one at a time. So in order to select multiple departments, I can click on this little control which says multi-select. 
here on the top right next to the funnel. Before I do that, I would like to select at least one department from the list and then I will select this control. The reason why I'm doing that is because if I just select this first and click on any of the departments here, all of them are already selected. So if I click on any of these, these are getting deselected from my choice. So to keep it simple, what I'm trying to do here is I'll just remove this thing and then first select one department at least and then select multi select and then try selecting the department that I want to see in my filter. So you can go either ways. You can select it first and then do it or whichever uh, pattern that you want to follow, you can try that. Now let me clear this filter out and remove the multi select. Now this was one slicer that I inserted here, but this one appears in a single column. The one we have here in our final output is in two columns and three column layout. How do I make this two column or three column? So let me zoom back. And here, while I have my slicer selected, I will go into the slicer tab. Look, the slicer tab only appears when you select that slicer. That is a dynamic tab. So when I select that, I have my slicer tab. Here I have the column control. I can just divide it into two or three columns, the number of columns I want. So now I have three column layout. Oh, that's too wide. So I'll just reduce the width. And I guess I'll just keep it two column and I'll just squeeze it more. Here we go. Now I want to insert another slicer in my data. What kind of slicer do you think we should try? We can try country. Let's go into table, insert slicer. And this time I'm selecting country and insert. And uh, let, me, let me just adjust the height of this one. And for country, I'll try to make it three column. So I am going to say three and I'll try to match the width here. Okay. Let me widen this thing. Okay. So I will just adjust the height here and change the color of this slicer for my country. I will go ahead and select um, this one. And for my slicer of department, I will try to convert this into more bright color. So when I want to see people who are from Canada and are working in IT services, I only have two people who are in HR. There we go. Sales, security and transport. So I can quickly click a button and filter my data dynamically using slicers. So this is how we make slicers in Excel. I request you to go ahead and give it a try in the do it sheet. Practice, practice various combinations. Use this data, the see it or the do it data. Or if you want to extend slicers in the final sheet, go ahead, try that. I want you to try and practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we'll try exploring different dimensions of Excel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you and have a very lovely day.